I don't know about you guys, but I am excited to see what nonsense the fitness community brings us today. We're going to take a look at full day of eating and training from Gains by Brains, who is a pretty lovely young lady that appears to have larger traps and a higher testosterone level than me, but um, we'll set that aside. I'll try to be objective here. We don't always have the same amount of energy or time to get the things done that we want to get done. Especially now when it's getting darker sooner, the days feel shorter, and it just feels like there isn't as much time. And that's okay. Just as flowers don't force themselves to bloom during winter, we can adjust our expectations of ourselves to the seasons. The seasons of the years and the seasons of your life. Not everyone wants or can go to the gym and I would never want to make you feel like you have to because to me making sure that you move your body is the most important thing whether that's by being inspired. So I'm not gonna talk too much about the workout routine or go through it. Uh, if you guys missed it I did do a bodybuilding transformation where I put on quite a bit of muscle using my uh, maximum volume hypertrophy training routine. If you are interested in that, you can go back, look at the videos I made. You can go to frank We still have the training routine available, but we're just going to see what she eats today. Breakfast. I've grown up with hearing that you should never skip breakfast because it's the most important meal of the day. And I've also practiced intermittent fasting for a long period of time, which basically means that I postpone my breakfast until lunchtime to be in a fasted state for longer. But now so then it's lunch, right? Because you're eating at lunchtime? Sometimes I'm not hungry when I wake up early to go to the gym, so I'll have breakfast after. And sometimes I want a piece of toast before and then have the rest of my meal after. Going by how I feel made the biggest difference. It's so weird to me how these female fitness influencers have been adapting like a vegan diet, but just adding a little bit of protein to it, which isn't good for your health. So bagel, avocado, two eggs, and a protein shake. The bagel, I mean, if it's organic, it's high quality. It, probably not. Definitely mildly inflammatory. Two eggs. I'm not a fan of the quality of eggs most people have access to. And I mean, when, when I consult with people, I always suggest they stop consuming eggs or dairy in general for a period of time, let alone on a daily basis is the first thing you eat. Protein shake by woman's best. I mean, we have a grass-fed whey protein on Frankie's Strange Foods, but... Pr protein supplementation isn't necessary for most people unless you're trying to do something quick. In the context of this meal, it's completely unnecessary. There is no way someone with her amount of lean body mass, her body size, needs more than two eggs worth of protein. Avocado on top. Eh, you know, for me, avocado, high quality organic is a food. Maybe you can have it a couple times a month without too many issues, but on a consistent basis, the fatty acid ratio isn't that great. It has a pretty high anti-nutrient content stress levels because so many things in life are stress factors don't let the things that you can right, so she's not having that much protein so for breakfast i had a bagel with avocado and two eggs and then i had a protein shake next to it after that i made some coffee in my little to-go cup and i grabbed a cookie because it was time for my walk with loey normalizing the consumption of coffee even for men is one of the worst things that's happened because it really stresses your adrenals and it's bad for you long term. But for women, I mean, any woman of childbearing age should not be consuming coffee. It is so, so bad for you that even if you had every single other lifestyle factor correct, your diet, your sleep, your radiation reduction, you know, exposure to EMF, even if everything was 100%, <laughs> you still shouldn't be drinking coffee. But you know, that's the, it's one of the main contributing factors to, to women having such messed up hormones. Who stole my lifting shoes because I was taking too long, in her opinion. Oat cookie plus coffee. So I'm assuming this is the coffee she just made. I hope it's not a second coffee. And an oat cookie, you know, depending on the ingredient quality, might not be too horrible, but 95% of the stuff in the store is just inflammatory seed oil grain garbage. It's not good for you. For lunch, I felt like making waffles. When I go on these baking sprees, I always try to make more portions so that I can keep left oat. All, all of these women just need to be because how horrible of an influence they are on 
what young women think they need to eat to be healthy or to look like that. And I'm comfortable saying that all of these fitness influencers are using performance enhancing drugs to some degree. And there's quite a few secrets they aren't telling these young ladies while they're showing you what they eat without explaining what I just said. Hey, you're not going to look like me if you don't eat this because I'm a crook. I mean, that's basically it. I mean, is it that much worse than what the conventional wisdom is telling people the stands in American diet? I guess not. That being said, you can tell these people are just in some type of hive mind where the wisdom they use for fitness health is directly from that mainstream perspective of what's healthy in comparison to a standard American diet. You know, bodybuilders used to eat chicken, rice, broccoli. That was consistent for a lot of meals. Now you're seeing these women eat vegan because they think it's healthy. Like one cup of oats, two bananas, one date, 1 1.5 cups of oat milk. There's no B vitamins. You know, there's no source of healthy fat. It's all carbohydrates. It's all sugar. And most dangerously, it's full of agrochemicals, pesticides, herbicides. Even if you go organic, you still have some of those issues. When you don't go organic, it's just bombing your body with toxins. Overs in the fridge or in the freezer. That way it's like a mini meal prep. And if you've seen my older videos, then you know that- Like, like real legitimate pancakes are healthier than this. Is to with just prep. regular flour, it's eggs, and butter. It's easier to make healthier choices if you have something ready that you just need to heat up. Unfortunately, I burned all the extra waffles that I didn't eat, so no meal prep for me for today. But the intention was there. I've been doing two leg days and one upper body day from my level up guide. I mean, this really doesn't make sense to me. It's what we said earlier. It's like a vegan diet, but she's adding protein and animal fat to every meal. I mean, which isn't a bad thing, but... When your body is so stressed from those toxins in the food, you know, you're using up the B vitamins, you're using up the cholesterol, you're using up the nutrients that you get from those animal foods to detox instead of, you know, make your body healthy and strong. Per week. And next to it, I've been doing the home workouts for my follow along channel and Jiu Jitsu. So I've been trying to find my balance with everything. The gyms also have been closing earlier here. They now close at 5 p.m. So that means that it's a bit more busy during opening hours, which makes filming a bit more challenging. But we're managing. I'm constantly hitting 8 or 10k steps per day, which I'm happy about because going outside for a bit actually helps a lot with combating the heaviness of the darker winter months for me. But as I said in the beginning of this video, it all comes down to move. If she's doing a weightlifting hypertrophy routine and that many steps per day, which is almost like two miles, it's way too much physical exercise. That will destroy your body. You can't give yourself enough protein, enough B vitamins, enough resources to recover from that from this modern perspective. You know, I said earlier, if you're doing everything perfectly, you can get away with certain things, but there's just too many factors in her diet and lifestyle that she's attempting to get away with. Your body. That's why these people look good when they're 18, 19, 20, and then they fall apart. Whatever works for you, works for you. Whether that's yoga, walking, not going to the gym, or going to the gym. Really? I mean... What works for me, in my mind, is a bunch of slightly chubby Russian girls soaking me in tequila, but we all know that's not good for me. So, I mean, I think we're being a little too nice here. For training at home. I just received a new Gymshark package, so I thought let's do an unboxing. I love this. I don't know... I have to check which collection. All right, we don't want to see what your bullshit clothing is, lady. Definitely answer my Instagram and show two recipes that hopefully make you feel inspired to cook. Oh, this is cute. She's showing home. what she feeds her dog. Then every week, well, you shouldn't feed we'll a dog that stuff. The same guide, but with an updated workout schedule. We'll start with a 30. I mean, for dogs, basically look up the raw prey model diet. I mean, dogs really shouldn't be eating anything else besides meat, but. There's a lot of supplements and companies and products that are making a ton of money off the pet food industry. Plus, of course, veterinarians would be out of business if your dogs were actually healthy. 
30 minute schedule per day and then we'll add different variations of the schedule as we upload more videos on the follow along channel. I really hope that it will help some of you out and I'm honestly really excited to hear your feedback and to see you train with me so please make sure to tag me on Instagram. For dinner I made a salad with everything that I still had in my fridge and then I called it a day and I also made a vegetarian chicken schnitzel and then fries with bread which is the best. Vegetarian chicken ever. schnitzel? <laughs> okay at least she's telling it like it is. Cheese bread oven fries and salad with fake chicken thing. Yeah, I guess the reason I'm making this video today is to point out you know hey why are all of these fitness influencers adopting this vegan nonsense? It's just going to make them less healthy. Even if you took conventional soy corn fed chicken and had that instead of the fake chicken thing, you know, it, it would be way healthier for you. Cheese bread. I mean, obviously it's not quality, but it, you know, you could eat things that are a lot worse. Oven fries and salad. I mean, is this meal the end of the world? If she didn't have the fake chicken thing in it, she could greatly reduce the amount of toxins, omega-6 fatty acids, chemicals, and additives. Of course, since she's not buying organic everything, we still have the pesticide concerns. Overall, the day of eating could be a lot more inflammatory than it is now, but it's still not perfect. I, th I think the protein content's a little low. I think the caloric intake's a little low. I, I think she's eating stuff that we're not seeing, but l let's go through to the end of this video to see if she has anything else. All right, so she doesn't she doesn't do anything. If you guys want to actually go watch this video yourself, uh, she has like a bunch of uh, like workout stuff in there, some makeup stuff. She does like a clothing haul. So it's kind of all over the place. But it's kind of obvious. You could tell she doesn't really care. It's like almost like she's going through the motions. Like she doesn't have her own unique perspective on working out or nutrition. It's just kind of cookie cutter doing what other people are doing, trying to be an influencer. And I think she's really, really popular on like Instagram and stuff, not as much on YouTube, but I guess when you sound like a, a door, uh, you know, you can't go that far. I mean, she looks pretty at certain angles. I'll give her that. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully uh, you guys like this. And if you know anyone that eats like this, you can make fun of them a little more. You can go to frank com if you'd like to support me through my businesses. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.